In this demonstration, we'll look at configuring accepted domains and also as well remote domains. An accepted domain is what we can receive mail to. So we currently have a datum.com, which is our default. This was created as part of the installation of Exchange. So this is our default domain and we can receive email to a datum.com. What we can also do as well is we can specify additional accepted domains. So what we're going to do here is we're going to create one for Tailspin Toys. So it's Tailspin Toys, accepted domains is tailspintoys.com. Now we can either be the authoritative domain, so email is delivered only to valid recipients in this exchange organization, all email for unknown, unknown recipients is rejected. I'm going to go for an internal relay, so email is delivered to recipients in this exchange organization, or relayed to an email server at another physical location, a logical location, or we could have had finally external relay, email is relayed to an email server at another physical or logical location. Once we've filled out the table, we select save. What we've now got is we've now got the Tailspin Toys accepted domain. The next thing we're going to do here is look at remote domains. And you've probably noticed there's no remote domains tab. We have to do this through the Exchange Management Shell. So within our Exchange Management Shell, the first thing I want to do here is get a list of remote domains that I already have. And I'm going to do that by using the get hyphen remote domain commandlet. So we hit the enter key. And what we have at this point here, it's the default one, it's star, so it's everything allowed out of office types is external out of office. And if you have a look at OWA or Outlook, you'll notice you can set up two different types of out of office messages. So the next thing we want to do here is we want to create a new remote domain for contoso.com. I'm going to do that by using the new hyphen remote dom domain, hyphen name, contoso, hyphen domain name, contoso.com. So that's now created, so let's just clear the screen off again. Then what we'll want to do here is just have a look at the settings currently for Contoso.com. I'm going to issue a get hyphen remote domain space Contoso and then what we'll do is we'll pipe that and we'll just format the list. And that returns back the settings. So we can see it's for Contoso.com. Is it internal? No, it's not. It is an external target delivery domain. It's not a target delivery domain. There's no accepted domain set up for this. We can see the allowed out of office type is currently external. Auto reply enable is set to true. Auto forward is set to true. Delivery report set to true. And then we've got our non delivery report enabled set to true. Meeting forward notification set to false and so on down the list. I won't go through those one by one. So those are the settings. So what we want to do at this point here is I actually want to change it so that auto forward will be disabled and also as well delivery reports will also be disabled and we can do that by using the set hyphen remote domain commandlet so we'll clear the screen off i'm going to do that by doing a set hyphen remote domain space contoso hyphen auto forward enabled is false and delivery report enabled is also false so that's now set and that's the end of this demonstration of creating accepted and remote domains thank you